Hey everyone, and welcome back for another deep dive. Mm -hmm. um, today we're tackling a topic that's absolutely crucial for building a high performing team, and that's emotional intelligence, or EQ for short. EQ definitely seems to be everywhere these days. It really does, and for good reason. Yeah. But we're not just going to talk about why EQ is important, we're going to get practical. We're going to dig into how you can actually assess and boost EQ within your own team. Sounds like a plan. Where are we diving in? So our guide for this deep dive is a program description from Positivity Global Coaching. Now they kick things off by defining EQ as the ability to not only understand and manage your own emotions, but to navigate relationships effectively. Which right away tells you this is about so much more than just being nice at work. Exactly, it's about creating a work environment where everyone can thrive, collaborate effectively, and ultimately achieve more together. And that's something I think we can all get behind. Yeah. Absolutely. And what I find interesting is that we're finally moving beyond just recognizing EQ as a nice to have soft skill. The it research is clear. EQ is a real game changer for team performance, impacting everything from communication to conflict resolution and even leadership. Right. It's not just about being nice. It's about creating a work environment where everyone can thrive, collaborate effectively, and ultimately achieve more together. You hit the nail on the head. And you know what else? I love that this program we're looking at upscale your EQ. They take a very deliberate approach to developing EQ in a team setting. Yeah, what really struck me was how they structure the program. Yeah. They haven't just thrown together a bunch of workshops. Yeah. You know, they start with a diagnostic tool called the Everything Disky Agile EQ Assessment. Now, that's interesting. I've heard of Disky Assessments before. Me too. And I'm really curious to unpack that a bit more. But before we get into the specifics of the assessment, I do think it's worth highlighting why this emphasis on assessment is so important. I completely agree. It's like building a house. You don't just start construction without a blueprint, right? You need to know the lay of the land, the strengths and weaknesses of the existing structure to create something amazing. Understanding your team's current EQ where everyone's at is absolutely crucial for tailoring any development effort effectively. I like that analogy. It really yeah. drives home the point. Yeah. And it makes me even more intrigued to learn about this everything disky agile Q thing. Well, let's not keep everyone in suspense. What have we got? Okay, so let's dive into this everything disky agile Q assessment. What is it? Well, as you said, you've heard of disky, and it's a really popular model used for understanding behavioral styles, how people approach tasks, how they communicate, what their preferences are, all that good stuff. So it's like a personality assessment, but it's more focused on work style. Exactly. And the agile key part means they've taken this established framework and layered in an emotional intelligence lens, which is really smart. Which makes total sense because how we behave is deeply connected to how we understand and manage emotions, right? Both our own emotions and the emotions of the people around us. Precisely. And by combining DISC with this focus on EQ, this assessment can really pinpoint those emotional blind spots or potential areas of friction within a team. Like, are you someone who avoids conflict at all costs, even when it's necessary to address an issue? That kind of thing. And that leads us to the next part of the program, the personalized coaching. Mm -hmm. They don't just give you a report and say, good luck with that. Right. right. It's about turning insights into action. Because you can have all the self-awareness in the world, but if you don't know how to actually apply it, it's not going to make a difference. So true. And that's where having a skilled coach to help you unpack your assessment results and identify specific challenges and then work with you to develop personalized strategies, that's where the real transformation happens. I love that they emphasize the personalized aspect mm -hmm. because let's be real, there's no one size fits all solution for something as nuanced as EQ, is there? Mm -hmm. Absolutely not. And the program description highlights that these coaching sessions are tailored to your specific goals. Mm. Whether you're someone who wants to improve their self-awareness, maybe you want to manage stress more effectively, or learn how to navigate difficult conversations with more empathy, the coaching is there to support you every step of the way. That's awesome. And then to bring it all together, they've got this interactive group training component, 24 hours of working together as a team. It's like they've taken the assessment, the personalized insights and said, okay, now let's put this into practice in a safe and structured environment. What do you think about this final part? It's essential because at the end of the day, it's not just about individual growth, right? It's about building a shared language and understanding of EQ within the entire team. They highlight things like collaborative problem solving and conflict resolution in the description, steals that require a high degree of emotional intelligence to use effectively. And what I appreciate is that it's all online, self-paced learning, coaching sessions you can schedule, and they even offer it in multiple languages. 
That's huge for global teams or teams with remote members. That accessibility is huge. It removes so many barriers and makes these tools and strategies available to a much wider audience. And for anyone listening who might not have the resources for a program like this right now, don't worry. There's still so much you can take away from this structure and apply it to your own team. Exactly. This deep dive isn't about selling you on a particular program. It's about understanding the elements that make EQ development effective. So even if you're starting small, think about how you can incorporate some of these principles. We've seen how valuable that initial assessment is, and then the importance of personalized support, and then, of course, the power of bringing it all together through teamwork and practice. It's a journey for sure, but even small steps can make a big difference. They really can. So much good stuff to unpack here. But I'm sure some of our listeners are thinking, okay, this all sounds great in theory, but where do I even begin? You know, oh. it can feel daunting to try and tackle something as big as EQ, especially in a team setting. It definitely can feel that way, but it doesn't have to be overwhelming. Easier said than done, maybe. Maybe. But seriously, think back to the program structure we've been discussing. It's actually a great roadmap. Even without a formal assessment like the Everything Disky Agile EQ, you can start by just initiating conversations about emotional intelligence within your team. That's such a good point. Just opening up that dialogue can be huge. Exactly. It's about creating that space for reflection and open dialogue. Maybe during a team meeting, you could dedicate some time to discuss strengths and weaknesses when it comes to things like communication or handling stress. Right? Like, hey team, when we're under pressure, how do we typically respond? Are there things we could be doing differently to support each other better? That kind of thing. Exactly. And it's not about pointing fingers or making anyone feel bad. It's about fostering a culture of self-awareness and collective growth. Where do you feel your team excels when it comes to emotional intelligence? Are there areas where you could improve? What are some things you could start doing differently starting today? to strengthen your EQ as a team. I love that you framed it that way, focusing on both strengths and weaknesses. Yeah. And then once you've had a chance to reflect as a team, yeah. you can start exploring small, practical steps for improvement. You don't have to boil the ocean, right? Absolutely not. You don't need a 24-hour workshop to make progress. Even small changes can have a big impact. So true. So instead of diving headfirst into a massive program, maybe you start by trying out some team-building activities that promote empathy and communication. Precisely. There are tons of resources available, online games, exercises, even just prompts for meaningful discussion. Choose something that resonates with your team's dynamics and the areas you'd like to focus on. And honestly, don't underestimate the power of simply creating space for regular check-ins, where team members can share their perspectives and work through challenges collaboratively. Sometimes, just feeling heard and understood can make a world of difference. Those check-ins can be invaluable, they help create a sense of psychological safety where people feel comfortable being vulnerable and asking for support when they need it. And that's huge for building trust and fostering a positive team environment. Couldn't agree more. Mm -hmm. This has been such an insightful deep dive. We've gone from understanding the importance of EQ for teams to exploring a practical framework for development and even pinpointing actionable steps you can take right now. So much good stuff to take away and apply. Absolutely. It's all about taking that first step. And then another and another EQ development is a journey, not a destination. Love that. It's a journey we're all on together. And with that, I want to leave you with one final thought. If you could wave a magic wand and instantly improve one aspect of your team's emotional intelligence, what would it be? And what kind of positive ripple effect do you envision that change having on your team's performance, collaboration, and overall success? That's a powerful question, something to really sit with and reflect on. It is. So as you go about your week, keep that question in mind. Reflect on your team's unique dynamics and aspirations. And remember, even small steps toward greater emotional intelligence can create a more positive and productive environment for everyone. Until next time, keep diving deep.